wine weirdos. Christopher. Checking out the 2010 Palmina Arnis. It's a Honea Vineyard. Absolutely. Santa Rita San, Hills. Yeah. And, uh, this is Steve Clifton's effort. And, and they're out of Santa Rita Hills in the wine ghetto, which we adore. Yeah. And let me tell you, I, I tasted this wine last week and was blown away. Yeah. And again, revisiting, it is amazing. Just crystal clear in the glass. Yeah. It reminds me of some Chablis I've seen before. On the nose, amazing complexity. Just layers and layers of grass, citrus, citrus blossom, and just fresh like hay, just like mm. citrus and hay. On the palate, what's it doing? Any New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc fan will like this way better than your Kim Crawford stuff. Mm -hmm. This is fascinating wine. I can't believe this is out of California. It's got so much nuance. I'm getting lemongrass. I'm getting kind of choked up over this. <laughs> lemongrass, lychee fruit. Mm. It's got like a tangerine thing going on, like mandarin orange thing going on on the side of my mouth here right now on the finish. It's got like a lingering acidity. It's got a, a little bit of a bite to it, but no mm. alcohol is present. So much complexity Brilliant. of like just cit citrus fruit for days. So many notes. Just yeah. the citrus blossom is carrying off of the nose. That All of the grassy mm. elements are carrying onto the palate, which just is vibrant, just hyper-structured build. Yeah. Just bring food along. Yeah, Sit out on totally. the summer evening on the porch. It's yeah. going to deliver. And the finish is just going, 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 and it feels like it's going to go for another hour. Just a brilliant rind, brilliant textures, yeah. brilliant citrus yeah. fruit. Definitely an off-dry wine. High quality, and we're really talking nice. in the $20 to $30 range, people. Yeah, beautiful. Good uh, stuff. You can't go wrong here. Yeah, I would check this out. It's Palmina. Yes. And we'll be back with more on Wine Weirdos. Cheers. Cheers.